Hey, it's Cody Simpson here. Thank you all for submitting your questions. I can't wait to answer them. And also, thank you so much to Romeo for having me. Now, I've got all the questions here on my iPhone. So pardon me looking down at my phone every once in a while to answer the next one. Alright, so Timmy from Norfolk, Virginia asked me what would you describe your dream girl as? Um, I guess just someone that is relaxed, someone that really understands, you know, the situation, the position that I'm in, um, and that isn't afraid to sort of just be themselves around me. Um, Brenda from Idaho Falls asked me, what is the craziest thing that's happened to you while performing on stage? I remember this one time I actually had um, fans ask me, or sort of throw up, there was literally, at the end of my show in the encore, all these fans like threw up bras on stage, so I literally had like 30 bras on stage, and I had these, it was, it was crazy, it was hilarious. Um, Zakia, I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong there, but you're from Columbus and you asked me who inspires you most and why? Um, honestly, my fans inspire me the most because they're just so dedicated everywhere I go, everything I post online, they're always there to, you know, to respond to me and to, you know, to help me and support me and stuff, so honestly, without them, I wouldn't be here, so they sort of inspire me to keep on making music because they're the ones that, that like it, so, yeah. Um, Brianna from Chicago, Illinois asked me, what is one thing you couldn't live without? Uh, my family, definitely, um, you know, I always have my family with me on the road, um, wherever I go, I always have either my mum or my dad there, um, if not my whole family, and, and I find it very important to always keep them around me, so. Um, Gabby from Miami, Florida asked me, did you ever have stage fright? Um, honestly, I did when I first sort of started out. Um, I don't get nervous before I go on stage much anymore, um, but I used to a lot when I was when I was younger, when I was first starting, and I, I hadn't really had much performance experience before. Um, Jamie from New York asked me, "What was the one defining moment when you knew you wanted to be a singer?" Um, I think it was one of the first times that I'd ever performed on stage, um, and you know the crowd seemed to love it, and it was like it was only at school and stuff, but you know I sort of seemed to be able to connect with the crowd, and and I knew then you know that showed me how much music can like bring people together and, and I really sort of fell in love with it from there and then you know when people started to sort of take notice in my you know songwriting abilities and stuff like that that's sort of when I realized that you know it was sort of something that I wanted to do um, as a career. Um, Kimmy from Kimberly from Simi Valley asked me who is your celebrity crush? Probably Miranda Kerr, Victoria's Secret model she's sort of been my crush for a while I've had the pleasure of serenading her before um, which was which was cool. Um, Rachel from Clarenville asked me, "How does it feel when you see people singing along at concerts to your music?" Um, it's honestly one of the most unique and amazing feelings ever because when you write a song in the studio and then you go out on tour a couple months later, it's just amazing to see that that song you wrote, you know, means so much to people, and the fact that they know every single lyric is is mind blowing. Um, Michelle from San Diego, California asked me, out of all the artists you have worked with, who was your favourite? Um, I'm not sure I really enjoyed um, working with Asher Roth. He's, um, he was on my new album and he's a really good friend of mine and I love his, his vibe and, and um, his style of rapping and he really brought a new element to one of the songs on my album. So that was, that was the Asher, it's probably my favourite one to work with. Um, Dana from New York, have you ever met anyone who has made you feel starstruck? Um, I don't get starstruck anymore, but I was, I used to swim, I used to competitive swim, and when I first came over to the States while I was still swimming, um, but I was recording a, a demo when I was like 12, um, I met Michael Phelps, and, and I was very, very starstruck. He was, obviously it was just after he had won eight gold medals in Beijing, and he was just my idol, so it was, uh, was was awesome. Stephanie from New York said, if you had to eat only one food in the whole world, what would it be? Um, if you had only one food to eat in the whole world, what would it be? Probably, um, um, good question. Um, I don't know, I love fruit. I don't know, watermelon, pineapple, stuff like that. Good stuff. Um, Erica from Washington asked me, what is your main career goal as of right now? Um, to be honest, just 
as long as I keep growing and, and keep on improving, then that's all that really matters to me. I find, um, you know, I've had a, you know, a steady sort of growth of my fan base and, and of my musical skills and stuff, and, and as long as I keep on doing that and keep growing up and my fans keep growing with me, then that's all that matters to me. I just, I love making music, so I'm not complaining. Um, Elizabeth from Hebron, 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 asked me, how many pairs of Vans do you own? I see a different pair on you at every concert. I have many. I sort of have a lot at home, and then I'll, you know, put different ones in my suitcase for each trip that I go on. And um, Yeah, I, I try to, I try to wear um, a different pair sort of every day. Um, obviously not a new pair every single day, but yeah. Amy from Olafi, I apologize if I don't pronounce this right, but she's from Mexico. She asked me what her favorite kind of food is, Mex what my favorite kind of Mexican food is. Um, good question. Um, not sure. I, I mean, I love, I love just a good classic like chicken burrito or something like that. Um, Maria from London asked me, how do you get inspiration to write your songs? Um, to be honest, I, um, I find my inspiration from like personal experiences that I've had. Um, you know, thing, I get my inspiration, obviously, from girls and stuff, because that's sort of what I write, write my songs about. Um, Jonathan from Orlando, Florida said, does anything in America remind you of home? Um, a little bit. Um, I've been, I've actually been to Florida a couple of times, Jonathan and I uh, went to Miami and that sort of really reminds me of my hometown in Australia. So um, I really enjoy coming down to Florida. Um, Adriana from Boston, Massachusetts asked me, if you could only listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would it be and why? Um, I'd have to pick Jack Johnson because, you know, no matter what mood I'm in, he always just makes me, he always, you know, he just has music. Um, that I just love. I, I have all of his albums, and and uh, I could. There's not a song that he's put out that I don't love. So um, definitely could listen to him for the rest of my life. Um, Danielle from Mar Marlboro asked me. You, so you have a surfboard and a guitar. If your house was burning to shreds, which would you choose to save? If you could only choose one. Um, to be honest, I'd probably choose a guitar, just because music comes first to me over anything else. Um, I love surfing, but music is my number one thing, so I'd probably choose, choose the guitar. Plus, I have many more memories, I think, with the guitar on stage and stuff than I do with, with you know, one of my surfboards. Um, Neela, Neela from San Antonio asked me, um, how close are you and Justin Bieber? Is he a great friend to you? Um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a good friend. We 